National Highways has named its preferred bidder for the £1.25 billion Stonehenge Tunnel Scheme. It has chosen the Moore Joint Venture to construct the controversial tunnel and the main construction work for the A303 Amesbury to Berwick Down Scheme at Stonehenge. The contract has been awarded despite the planning application for the scheme still pending redetermination by Secretary of State for Transport Grant Shapps after his decision to grant the development consent order against the advice of the planning inspectorate. The scheme was subsequently quashed by the High Court. But, undeterred by legal or procedural niceties, National Highways ploughed ahead regardless. The body said that to ensure programme timescales are maintained, it has selected the Moore Joint Venture, comprising FCC Construction, WeBuild and BMO Tunnelling, as its preferred contractor. Project Director Derek Parody said, The announcement of a preferred bidder in no way preempts any decision, and once that is finalised and should the development consent order be granted, having a contractor in place will put us in the strongest possible position to deliver this transformational scheme and deliver the benefits we know it can. National Highways says the announcement followed a robust procurement process, a major part of which required shortlisted tenderers to develop their design solutions and demonstrate these as compliant with its requirements. The Moore Joint Venture has put together a consortium comprising Atkins, Jacobs and Spanish designer Senair as the design joint venture. Mr Parody also addressed the fact that the contract was handed to an overseas consortium. He said they will be making best use of considerable UK skills by using a range of local, regional and national suppliers and contractors to help them deliver the scheme. A statement released by the joint venture read, For the companies that are part of the Moore JV, this project is a clear example of the development of sustainable, innovative infrastructures that not only provide traffic solutions but also improve people's quality of life. The proposed scheme includes eight miles of dual carriageway, a tunnel at least two miles long beginning and ending within the World Heritage Site, closely following the existing A303 route but a further 50 metres away from the Stonehenge Monument, a new bypass to the north of the village of Winterbourne Stoke, junctions with the A345 and A360 on either side of the World Heritage Site. The scheme remains unpopular with campaigners who comprise a broad swathe of concerns from those worried about irreversible damage to the historic site to neo-pagans who see the area as sacred. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe and thank you for watching.